Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor. Today, I'm very excited because we have a very special guest. She is part of our podcast community. She also has her own podcast on our show. She is amazing. Her name is Dr. Olga Zilberstein. She is an aesthetic doctor, and she has an ama amazing wellness program that she works with clients. And now that the summer is coming, we all get this urge to lose those last couple of pounds or how many pounds you have in mind. You know, everyone has a goal. Some people have 10 pounds. Some people want to lose more, you know, but summer is here. It's coming and we all want to look good. And Dr. Olga has some great advice for people who are really looking to lose weight, whether it be five pounds, 50 pounds. She has really great advice. And today she's going to give that advice to you and share some of her own ideas on how you can get to your ultimate goal when it comes to weight loss. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, uh, Stacey, for, for the introduction. Um, yes, so um, let's talk about healthy lifestyle, healthy weight, um, because this is all about your confidence in your own skin and your beautiful self. Yes. So, yes, we uh, work with our patients um, evaluating their goals uh, on a healthy uh, weight. We evaluate their lifestyle, we wait, evaluate their diet and their exercise routine, and um, we see if we, they need to ch ha implement any changes in terms of diet and exercise, and uh, we'll see what's holding them from their ideal weight um, mm -hmm. and how to help them. So first we um, talk, talk to them about um, diet and we um, big advocate of uh, intermittent fasting. It's great. Um, it's great to have an understanding of um, what is good for your body and what is right. complete garbage, what you should not put into your body. And I think it's uh, with this understanding in mind, it's much better to um, adhere to the healthy diet and exercise because you just really need to understand that to live a productive life, to live a healthy life, you do need this body. And whatever you put in your body, this is like your building blocks. That's um, literally what you consist of. Um, so why would you put something really bad, really something that destroys your body, that's so bad for your body? And I think it's so, so important to have this in your mind that certain things, especially sugar, especially processed food, is just so bad. It creates all those um, like uh, free radicals, which um, not just like, it's not just about how you look, it's about your, how you feel, it's about your health. Um, and so many, um, it's about your skin, uh, sugar and um, Processed food is so bad for your skin, for your joints, for for everything. And um, so education is the key here. So we first try to really help people to understand what's good for them. And um, and then we do have medications. It's everybody probably know now. Um, Azempic is a buzzword. It's just like Botox. We have so many other neurotoxins, but we just talk about Botox. Although we're almost not using Botox anymore. It's like other other things out there, which even better and and cheaper and better. Um, the same here with Azempic is a buzzword, but it's really semiglutide or terzipatide. Um, it's a generic form of it, which we use. Um we can prescribe Azempic. It's just uh, brand Azempic is much more expensive. It's not always covered by insurance. And if it's covered by insurance, um, it's very hard to get. It's like, it's a big shortage right now. So when there is a shortage of brand medication like Azempic, they cannot provide this medication for the whole country who wants to lose weight. If you think of it, 50% of population is now overweight. Yeah. So if you calculate how many millions, we have 280 millions. So 140 millions needs a drug in a way. Um, <laughs> 
right? So they yeah. cannot what they cannot deliver. It's it's a huge amount of um uh, it's a huge amount of people who really needs to get in line and lose weight and get their best version of themselves and be healthy and be happy. It's really yeah. related how you perceive yourself, how you feel in your skin and how how happy you are. So um the it's it's a amazing discovery actually um semiglutide and terzepatide uh, medication which works on uh, glp1 uh, glucagon uh, receptors in your brain and it's um it really curves your appetite and it's now we see it's not just your appetite it's any addictive behavior because yeah. we know now that um overeating of food or sugar is 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 a drug <laughs> it's a, and we have addiction to food to sweets and the food injury industry is is very smart they actually create the ingredients which makes us addict, addicted it's it's this perfect combination of sweet and salty something that you just can't stop eating this bag of chips you gotta right. finish the bag of chips you just keep eating it and it's done on purpose unfortunately yes. unfortunately and and that's the worst of the foods it's like packed with all this uh unhealthy oils and um preservatives and it's just garbage it's just garbage it's like i wish we can do like a, this i don't do hypnosis but it's like this is what you have to put in your mind this is just garbage you put on your yourself yes and it's so bad for everything in your body and we know so much more right now like certain tips let's say um that we have much stronger willpower in the morning let's say than at night we kind of more tired at night. We forget things at night. Oh my God. In the morning, I thought I'm going to be so healthy. I'm not going to eat that. And I'm so good in the morning. I just yep. drink coffee and I run around. And then at night, you're like, you're just tired. You, you, your brain doesn't work. You don't function. And you see this sweet <laughs> thing and you, you, you get it. Yeah. That's another tip. You just need to keep your, your house free of all those bad stuff the sugar yes. sweets the unhealthy everything unhealthy should be out of your house so you don't see them and you don't have this even temptation to to reach and get those stuff so all those little things so we 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 discuss with our patient we we instill in them this um please do do yourself a favor please stay healthy and um if they can't do it i think it's a great uh medication which kind of gives you a push which kind of helps you to to curb all those cravings and um all those addictive behavior it's very very interesting that we see now it's not just your food it's it's um smoking and drinking alcohol i have a few people who are very happy to report that they stopped drinking and i have one patient who lost she's not just lost like 40 or 50 pounds she lost but she stopped drinking and she developed much better bond with her family with her husband because they're so happy she's happy she's not drinking anymore and um and she has much much better relationship with her family. So yeah. um, I have another patient who stopped both smoking and drinking, and she's so happy. She's in a better better place in her in her life. She's she's she lost weight, but she also stopped drinking. And both of these patients actually they started on the medication and our wholesome program. And uh, they lost their weight and they were able to win off the medication. And now they're completely off it and uh, they're loving their life right now. They're loving their healthier, slimmer self so much that they 
they don't really even need the medication. They just keep it. They keep yeah. the weight off. They keep their all their addictive behavior or um, off of it. So, um, and I, I, it feels great. Um, also, people talking about azempic face. So it's another term right now, azempic face. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say um, it's like a French said. You know this this also saying that you keep your face or you keep your body. Meaning, if you lose weight and you lose all this healthy fat from your face, your 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 uh, your face doesn't look as good. And I always say. Okay, you can ha keep your healthy body, and we will help you with your face. You know, yeah. we have <laughs> we have amazing means right now to really rejuvenate and restore, restore your face. Um, for that, I use Sculptra mostly. Sculptra is just such a natural way to rejuvenate the face. And um, there is a lot of theories right now, and we're working on the proof. Of, uh, on, on the proof that Sculptra, uh, depending where it's injected, it's a bioregenerator. So exactly. it's not a filler. So it depends where you inject it. If you inject it, let's say on the bone, let's say we very often they have, we have um, loss of the bone, uh, temple, temple, mm -hmm emptiness and um it's from bone loss some people have it more some people have it less so if you inject it on the bone it's kind of gross or reju regenerates the bone if you inject it in the skin it regenerates the skin and if you wow. inject it uh in the area of subcutaneous fat it regenerates the subcutaneous fat so that's some of the theories um I don't think it's proven exactly, but that's what we see, actually. That's how it behaves. And um, I got an extremely natural, great rejuvenation with Sculpture. And I think that would be the number one choice for people who lost weight on Azampic and they feel that they don't look as good uh, right. because of all the fat loss from the face. Yeah. Sculptra helps a lot and it's so natural. Nobody going to say, oh, you did something. You Or did you do fillers? It's like, it's not a good comment. I would say the good comment is like, oh, you look like you rested. You look healthy. Yeah. 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 You look like, yeah. So people can't put the finger what you've done something. If you've done, if, if the comments come that you've done something, that's not a good outcome for me <laughs> you gotta look natural you gotta look like you have you just slept well right like the best natural self that's 100 percent true yeah because so many people you know they go to they go to cosmetic surgeons and they get you know certain things done but then it doesn't look natural or they might have the chipmunk cheeks or they you know they might have you know or you could see that their face was pulled back a certain way and, and their eyebrows aren't moving and, you know, things like that. But when you do it naturally and you can't tell, that's that's good because that's when you have a good doctor and they know what they're doing and they're putting the right things and they're doing the right procedures because that's what it should be. It should be, it, everything should look natural. People right. should realize that it's done. I, I think I have to discuss some of the side effects of the medications because people right. always concern and people always ask me that question. So um, we use both semiglutide, which is Azempic and Wigovi. And what we do when we you come to our consultation, first we, um, we discuss healthy lifestyle and what can you do. And second of all, we evaluate your weight and see if you actually are eligible for the medication because Azempic really just approved for diabetes type two. It's not just suppresses your appetite and uh, reduce your, all your cravings. It uh, regulates your gluco glucose level. So yes. um, if you're diabetic, it's a great medication for diabetes. But if you're not diabetic, so this same uh, semi-glutide branded as Wigovi. It's a different brand, but the same 
ingredient. Um, so that um, approved specifically just for weight loss. So you don't have to have diabetes. It's approved for weight loss. But there's certain criteria um, when um, insurance should uh, qualify you for, for the medication. It's um, BMI, uh, body mass index, more than 30. So we always evaluate the patient. Do they have diabetes? Do they have hyperlipidemia? Do they have any other problems? We always actually require people to, to go for blood work. So we want to see if there is no thyroid disbalance because high poor thyroid can cause weight loss and that also needs to be corrected before mm -hmm. starting any medications. Uh, we need to see if there is any uh, gallbladder disease, if any um, pancreatitis or chronic pancreatitis, because in these cases, you might not be eligible for the medication because um, medi the, the, some of the side effects can be associated with gallbladder disease. Um, so um, with Wegovy, um you need, like I said, you need to be BMI more than 30, but also if you have like pre-diabetes or hyperlipidemia, you're also going to be qualified with BMI like more than 27. Right. So I always explain, okay, so this is um, your possible indication. You can be possibly qualified to get it through in medical insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can give prescription for medication or your primary doctor can give prescription for medication. But very often people don't get it. First, yeah. insurance won't cover you. Second, even if you cover it, it's such a shortage. It's a big shortage of medication. So when something like this happens, when you have a shortage, um, you cannot get medication either. You don't have an insurance. We do have a compounded uh, formulation and it's a it's a actually that's what compounding pharmacies are for <laughs> when yeah. there is a shortage of medication they step up and they help out so the main thing is what actually is shortage is um a pen which the administer the medication and mm -hmm. um there's not amount enough Pans for everybody. It's not just our country. Hundred eight. What what did we call it? Eighty million. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Million, but it's like all over the world. It's it's a huge craze about this medication. Um, I mean, America is a fattest country. Let's admit. <laughs> so, but it's uh, still is uh, overweight, obese people in Europe and other places. Right. So, and uh, and the company just just can't provide. So. What compounding pharmacies do, they get the medication from the same exact source. Uh, they get semi-glutide from exact the same source and uh, they prepare uh, they do uh, they prepare it for us to deliver. We also tend I, I combine semi-glutide with B12 vitamin which is great because one of the side effects of uh, semiglutide is um, like uh, people feel fatigued um, yeah. or less, some more than others. So B12 gives a little bit of uh, a kick, um, I mean, energy boost. So that's what we do. We usually combine semiglutide or trisipatide with B12. You can combine it with carnitine, which is great for also aids to speeding up metabolism and weight loss yeah so there's different formulation out uh, formulations out there um so yes and we actually can titrate the medication a little better than original brand because they have um this dialing pan where you just put a certain dose and it's strict those so we we use the medication they send us um compounded for, uh, medication in a jar and we can actually titrate it better so we can um start it in a lower dose um okay. or give it a higher dose or give it in between the doses it's yeah, a yeah. 
to your response to medication and according to if you experience any side effects. Right. And I didn't discuss the side effects. So what happens, this medication slows gastro motility of gastrointestinal tract. So mm -hmm. the food stays longer in your stomach and it takes longer to move along. So... Anybody with gastroesophageal reflux actually have troubles with these medications. Wow. Because medication stays in the stomach longer and yeah. uh, you cannot eat bigger food, larger food. Um, uh, you, you're not supposed to anyway, but <laughs> with this yeah, medication, yeah. it's going to be definitely harder. You feel satiety faster. And uh, you absolutely cannot lay down after the meal. So the normal amount of food staying in, in, in the stomach is two hours. But with this medication, it can be much, much longer. So um, you need to eat more fiber. You need to drink more fluids. You need to eat less uh, amount, like a very smaller, smaller meals to yeah. really even tolerate it. So, um, and anybody uh, with gastroesophageal reflux, if they absolutely want, still want to lose weight, and it actually helps with gastroesophageal reflux because all this fat and this, all this internal fat, which yeah. is actually very hard to lose. It's like the fat around our internal organs that yeah. able to lose with this medication. And um, so, <clears throat> so when we lose weight, our gastroesophageal reflux should feel better, especially for extremely obese people. Right. So, um, so yes, um, I, we advise to stay on medication, somebody with gastroesophageal reflux and because of the, uh, of the food, like really moving slower through yeah. your gastro gastrointestinal system. So if you prone to constipation, you need to double up on your fiber and fluids and even maybe take medication for constipation. So we really in depth, we discuss what, what to do, how to do. Yeah. And uh, people are very, very happy to lose weight. Yeah. Somebody who like dreamed of to, 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 to get into their, I don't know, wedding dress or whatever. It's like, and they finally able to, yeah, yeah they're very, very happy about that. And it's interesting how people, <clears throat> once they lose, start losing weight, they kind of become more motivated to exercise. <laughs> Sorry, they exercise more, they move more. So it's yeah, it's great. It's great to see all those success stories. Medication definitely works. That's why. I'm, it's mostly all those people who try to lose weight by themselves, but just couldn't. Yeah. And yeah, they they able to. It's, you know, I think it's wonderful because I've known many people that have gone that route and have had, you know, tremendous success, you know, and it, but you have to just, you know, you have to stay, um, uh, you know, co consistent when it comes to eating healthy. I've known people that have gone on it also, but then they go back to their old eating habits. And you can't do that. You know, when you lose weight and you're on a, a weight loss program and you're putting so much effort into this weight loss program, you have to remember, I think, too, like you mentioned in the beginning, the healthy eating, staying away from those processed foods and, you know, creating a whole different lifestyle for yourself so you can keep the weight off and feel good. Because once you get that extra weight off, you're, you're, you, that fatigue goes away, you feel energetic, your self-confidence boost is, you know, it's a, you feel, you start to be more self-conscious of the way you look, the way you dress, the way, you know, your face looks, everything, you know, you, you're, you, it, it changes your life completely. But, you know, for people who just want to lose weight, they have to realize, you know, it's more about just losing weight. It's a, it's a lot lifestyle change it's real and and also it it's healthier for your body all those unwanted diseases that are a lot of them are caused by obesity you could avoid these diseases and you know many people with type 2 diabetes has have gotten to their normal weight 
just by changing their diet, staying away from those processed foods, you know, incorporating some exercise into their diet. And, you know, and with this weight loss program that you're mentioning, I, I've known many people that have had a total life change because they went on it, but they also were told, you know, this is the way you have to eat now. This is the way, you know, things you need to do. And they were serious about it. And they stood on that, on that path. And then I have some friends that I knew that, you know, what, you know, didn't take it as seriously. So, you know, you have to really, you know, you have to have a good mindset and really, you know, if, if you're serious about weight loss and you really want to do it, you have to just, you have to realize that it's, it's, it's not just popping a pill. It's, it's a lifestyle change. Absolutely. And keep it on. And this is what I discuss with them all the time. So I'm like, I have this woman who's uh, just like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight. But I, yeah, I always ask them, what did they eat? What, what did they do? And she's like, oh, I, 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 she got, gets up in the, at night and she eats cookie. I'm like, what? how, what? <laughs> and now she's doing much better, much better. She's like, she broke this habit. And that's, yes. And you have to get in depth what actually they eating, how, what are they doing, how, how they maintaining and trying to lose weight. So I'm definitely like, no, it's not a magic bull bullet. It's still you eating less. You cannot eat cookie at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remove it from your house. That's it. Yeah. It's bad for you. It's like, this is like it's it the, as any habit, it's a repetition and it's like you it, it they say it's, it takes 28 days to form a habit. So right. basically, if you own medication, it really helps to form the habit of not eating it or just not buying it and not having it in your house. Yes. And just just remembering it takes time. It takes time to form a habit or yeah. break old habits. Exactly. And you can't go for those foods either that say, oh, healthy, it's baked potato chips, you know, it's like, it's, it, it's still a potato chip, it's still not good for you, you know, and like you said, a lot of these, you know, it, you know, when they try to market a lot of these brands and a lot of these, these unhealthy snacks at nighttime, that we all, you know, get those cravings at night. Well, not all, but a lot of people do. Um, you know, they have things in them that want make you want more of it, like the salt and maybe some, you know, certain ad adjectives that they use in the in the in the food, and it makes you want more and more and more. And before you know it, you know, already they only put a half a bag in in the in the bag of chips anyway. You know, the rest of it's air. You know, if someone keeps eating it before you know it you're at the end of the bag easily, not even realizing it because you're watching TV, you're not paying attention and, you know, you're not going to be able to lose weight. And you have to think like you do, like you mentioned, you know, think of that goal weight, think about, you know, how you really want to look and, and, you know, and you have to really be serious about it. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's something that anyone can attain as long as they are serious and they make a, a, a you know, a positive lifestyle change. Right. And I wanted to talk about a little bit about terzepatide. Terzepatide, it's uh, um, another medication. I mean, that's generic of Munjaro. Mm -hmm. And so what is it? Um, Zento? Anyway, so it's a medication which um, actually a little bit more potent in uh, affecting two receptors, not just one. Uh, so it's more important in losing weight. And it's a little bit easier on your GI tract. So it doesn't have all those um, side effects um, as the nausea. Some people, uh, especially with gastroesophageal reflux, especially when you start in it um, and maybe you got a higher dose that you is it intended you can have vomiting and nausea and right. um, that's why it's it's great that we can titrate it up and down as tolerated um because everybody is tolerating it differently some people have feel nothing on the highest dose even they don't have, have like suppressed appetite that's why we right. switch that to their appetite and it's a little bit more potent and it's a little bit better on yeah um, with the side effects on your GI tract. So, so well, another do you, 
do you when, when when they come in so when they come in and you put them on these weight loss programs do you also help them with the way they have to eat because a lot of these people have been eating a certain way for so long that to them it's normal and in your eyes it's probably very unhealthy so is, is it, it when you have to change a person's eating habits is it baby steps or is it basically just giving them, you know, a list of things they have to start now, incorporate into their diet and things they have to learn to take out of their diet and so forth? I feel like uh, we all educated pretty much mm -hmm. what's good for us and what's not good for us. Same right. is like smoking and alcohol. Okay. People know it's probably not the greatest thing for your body, but if people right. still do, right? Yes. Um, so, um, yes, of course, we reinforce what's better. And yeah, knowledge is power. The more you know how good one thing is and how bad the other thing is, it's better. But um, th that's why this medication is really, really helps you. I even, I even heard the comments that people can't look at the sweets anymore. They yeah. don't. They can't look at the junk anymore. And yeah. They just, yeah, they just eat healthy. It's very interesting how how it works. It's it's really, really helped them to really pivot into this um, healthy lifestyle and do the yeah. right choices, do the right change. And they just not as hungry. It's completely kills the hunger in a way, especially in the beginning. Yeah. It's you, you're just not hungry. And I'm like, okay, if you're not hungry, don't eat. <laughs> it's really the fasting now. The, it's a lot of studies showing that not eating and just giving to your body some time to rejuvenate itself. It's a, uh, it's it's really great for you for you. It's not it's not it it's not unhealthy. It's actually opposite. Yeah. It's, yeah, so the body really ha um keeps fighting the toxins and uh, just really rejuvenates itself. If you don't eat for a certain amount of time, it's shown after after like 14, 15 hours of complete fasting, it's really it's really the time when when uh the body um rejuvenates itself and I uh, and uh, um autophagocytosis it's a fancy word but it's when your own body eats up bad cells that's how right. you interpret it so um the cancer cells all this dna um uh, faulty cells which can turn into cancer in a way yeah so your own body destroys it if you um keep this in eight hours of eating and 16 hours of not eating and um that's what i instruct my my patients to do and just instill into them that's how healthy it is how good it is for you and with the uh, help of medication it's really not so difficult to do because it's yeah. really kills your appetite and it keeps you into this um non-addictive behavior right healthy behavior once I once I nix sugar out of my diet, anytime if I if I go somewhere and I taste something that's really sugary, I don't like it anymore. Where I used to be, you know, I used to like sugar. Now when I taste something that has sugar in it, I could taste it right away and it's a turn off to me because I totally, you know, took it out of my diet, you know, and uh and now I don't have an urge for it and I don't like it, you know. So it's uh it is when you do to do change your diet, you know, you kind of lose the the urge for certain foods, you know, they kind of leave you, you know. It's it's very true. Yes, it's it's definitely an addiction. Because yes. when you looked at the MRIs of the brain of people who who had like a drug. It lights up the same exact areas when you just eat a candy. It's oh, a, really? Yeah, it's it's really an addiction. It's, it really okay. is. Yeah, and the more you eat it, the more you want it. Yes, very it's true. Exactly what you said, and if you don't eat it, you don't need it. Right. It's a little bit easier on you than real drugs, but, yeah. <laughs> but it's a real drug in a way. Right. It's addictive. 100%. It is.
Yeah, definitely is. Now, if you had to take today's conversation, you wanted to emphasize on a couple of important uh, turnovers. What are some things that you'd like the listeners to understand from the conversation we had today? Uh, well, we work uh, with people on overall uh, health and happiness. Um, we we try to help them to be more confident in their skin. And yes. when, sometimes people come and they like, I don't know what I want. Maybe a little Botox. I'm like, I think you need to lose weight first. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we kind of talk to them and evaluate uh, what would be the best first step in rejuvenation, in healthier, happier self, yeah. um, for better perception of self. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really important for them to be happy, and um, and we we try to discuss and evaluate what helps them. I think happy a healthy lifestyle is is really number one yeah. uh, it, it's just not how you look mostly it's it's also how you feel and yeah. um and it's really really important um to maintain a healthy weight it's it's important not just how you look it's important for your uh for your health as well and uh that comes first and then we talk about um, different uh, other things like little wrinkle, which bothers you a lot. Yeah. So it's a really holistic approach to, to your whole self and your body um, uh, rather than just concentrating on real a little imperfections. Right. A lot of times those little imperfections are nobody notices but us because so, we're so critical on ourselves. But it definitely, you know, feeling you know, healthy, being healthy is first priority because, you know, there's so many illnesses that are caused by being overweight and obesity. And, you know, you have high cholesterol, you have high, pro you know, heart problems, you have strokes, you have, there's so many things, diabetes, you know, which is on a rise. It's so important to stay on a good diet, a healthy diet, to learn to, to lose the weight. And, and, you know, so you can be healthy. And then, then you look in the mirror and you start feeling good about yourself because you're, you know, you're, you're starting to see a body, you know, a shape, you know, a face that you really, you know, like, and, uh, and then, you know, working on, like you said, the little imperfections that, you know, may bother you. And, uh, and then, you know, so you could feel good all the way around, both mentally, physically, you know, and, uh, and really, you know, you know, establish a lifestyle that you're going to be content with, you know, and, and happy, because that's a goal is to be to be happy. Definitely. Now, where can people find you? Like, what services do you uh, offer? And where are they able to find you? Um, I, we have offices in Brooklyn and Long Island. Um, we have a website, uh, www.drolgaz.com. So all information is there. The office's address, phone number. We have a link where we can you can schedule an appointment. Um, everything in, is on social media right now. So my uh, Instagram page is dr. Olga Zilberstein, one word. Um, so all before and afters, all explanation of the procedures, everything is there. And the contact information, and we have TikTok. It's the same DR Olga Zilberstein. And we have YouTube, <laughs> now podcast. <laughs> so all information is there. It's really all over the internet. Um, direct phone number and um and the website that's amazing i think today was great because I, I so many people have so many questions when it comes to weight loss and you know all the, the different types of programs that you you talked about today you know many people have been interested about it and just want to know the right information because sometimes you know you hear you hear things on the internet and you know things could be fabricated things could be you know it depends who's writing the article who's given the information so it's always good to have a credible doctor you know talk about these weight loss programs and so people could understand them understand what they do and you know so people could see if it applies to them and it could actually help them as well so i thank you so much for being on the show today and i look forward to seeing you again 
And uh, this has been a great episode. And now that summer's coming, you know, people might, might really think about, you know, you know, about their weight, about their health and, and maybe make some changes, you know, and kind of just like we do spring cleaning, but do a little summer cleaning to our bodies. And uh, so we can get on the right step and, and live the life that will make us happy and healthy. So thank you so much, Olga, for being on the show. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. We had a great conversation today and have a great day, everybody. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.